Ancillary services refer to specialized functions that help maintain grid stability and reliability. These services include frequency regulation, voltage control, reserves, and black start capabilities. Ancillary services are essential for ensuring the uninterrupted supply of electricity. They help manage fluctuations in power demand and supply, prevent grid disturbances and support the integration of renewable energy sources, ultimately safeguarding the reliability and quality of electrical services. Ancillary services were traditionally provided by electricity market mechanisms or centralized large-scale electricity producers, such as nuclear, coal, gas and hydropower plants, which will only offer limited availability within the future electric power system landscape. Ancillary services can include synchronized regulation, which is a service that corrects for short-term changes in electrical imbalances that might affect the stability of the power system. Contingency reserves, which are used to respond to an unexpected failure or outage of a system component, such as a generator, transmission line, circuit breaker, switch or other electrical element. Black start regulation, which supplies electricity for system restoration in the unlikely event that the entire grid loses power. Flexibility reserves, which is an emerging concept for addressing variability and uncertainty on timescales longer than contingency and regulating reserves. The development of new market mechanisms and electrical devices capable of providing ancillary services in real time will become essential for the transi transition towards smart grids. An important factor in ensuring this transition will be greater involvement of consumers and prosumers in the provision of ancillary services mainly because of the financial benefits they can obtain from their participation. Possible Solutions for the Provision of Ancillary Services There are several solutions that can be applied once that the requirements for ancillary services and their magnitudes are known. These solutions provide different levels of compliance with the requirements depending on their technical complexity and the financial investment. To ensure the provision of ancillary services required for secure and stable operation of modern electric power systems, typically. Following solutions are used, functionalities and flexibility offered by generators, energy storage systems and loads. Properties and performance required via grid codes or legal requirements of devices connected to the electric power system. Flexible use of electrical grids by TSOs and DSOs via their energy management systems. Services procured by system operators from third parties based on bilateral agreements or market mechanisms. Frequency Containment Reserve FCR, Automatic Frequency Restoration Reserve AFRR and Manual Frequency Restoration Reserve MFRR and Restoration Reserves RR are specific categories of reserve power that play a vital role in maintaining grid stability, especially in response to sudden changes in frequency. In order to maintain the frequency within specific limits, transmission system operators TSOs implement balancing services which they obtain from providers known as balancing service providers BSPs. While the requirements may vary from one country to another, following the harmonization of balancing markets in Europe, BSPs are now obligated to ensure they deliver the reserve service within a 5-minute time frame, frame referred to as full activation time. After an initial 30-second period, AFRR takes over as the secondary reserve, while the tertiary reserve, known as MFRR, provides support or partially takes over from AFRR after approximately 12.5 minutes. Here's how they relate to the broader concept of reserve power. Frequency Containment Reserve FCR, as the primary reserve, the FCR seeks to maintain equilibrium between power generation and consumption within the synchronous area, with the objective of ensuring the operational reliability of the synchronous area's power system and stabilizing the system frequency at a constant value. Activation time, primary reserve units are the quickest to respond to sudden changes in demand or supply. They are typically required to respond within seconds, usually less than 10 seconds. Duration of activation, primary reserves are designed to provide a short-term burst of power for a limited time, usually up to 15 minutes. Operation, primary reserve power is generated by power plants usually gas turbines or hydroelectric generators that are already online and synchronized with the grid but operating below their maximum capacity. When there is a sudden increase in demand or a generator falls offline, primary reserve units can quickly increase their output to stabilize the grid. AFRR Automatic Frequency Restoration Reserve, serving as the secondary frequency control mechanism, AFRR is responsible for fine-tuning the active power output to rectify frequency deviations and bring interchanges with other systems back to their designated levels following an imbalance, 
ultimately returning the frequency to its target value. Activation time, AFR, also known as secondary reserve or spinning reserve, is the fastest responding, responding reserve category. It is activated automatically in response to deviations in grid frequency, typically within 30 seconds. Duration of activation, AFRR provides a short-term burst of power for a limited time, usually up to 12, 5 minutes. Operation, when there is a sudden increase or decrease in electricity demand or supply, grid frequency may deviate from its nominal value e.g., 50 Hz or 60 Hz. AFRR consists of power resources e.g., gas turbines, hydroelectric generators that are already online and synchronized with the grid but operating below their maximum capacity. These resources can quickly increase their output or reduce their generation to help restore the grid's frequency to its nominal value. MFRR Manual Frequency Restoration Reserve In its role as the tertiary frequency control, MFRR's responsibilities encompass reinstating the primary and secondary frequency control reserves, managing congestion within the transmission network, and restoring both frequency and interchanges to their specified target values. Activation time, MFRR, as the name suggests, is manually activated by grid operators, and it typically has a longer activation time compared to AFRR. Duration of activation, MFRR is designed to provide power for a longer duration, often several hours. Operation, MFRR can include various resources that are not actively synchronized with the grid but can be started and brought online relatively quickly. This category may also encompass demand response programs and energy storage systems, systems, where certain loads can be manually curtailed or increased to provide additional supply or demand to restore grid frequency. Grid operators initiate MFRR when AFRR and other reserves are insufficient to address frequency deviations. Replacement Reserve RR, RR is tasked with replenishing or reinforcing the necessary level of frequency restoration reserves and addressing system imbalances, including maintaining generation reserves through active power reserves. Restoration reserves are vital for ensuring the rapid recovery of grid operations and minimizing the impact of large-scale outages on communities, industries, and essential services. These reserves require careful planning, coordination, and resources to address the unique challenges posed by the restoration phase of grid operation. Activation time, restoration reserves are typically activated in the aftermath of significant disruptions, such as large-scale blackouts or cascading failures. The activation time for RR can vary significantly, depending on the complexity of the restoration process and the extent of the damage. Duration of activation, RR may need to be available for an extended period, potentially spanning several hours to days, as restoring a large-scale grid system can be a complex and time-consuming task. Operation, restoration reserves encompass a wide range of resources and strategies. This category includes power sources and equipment that are used to rebuild critical grid infrastructure, reroute power flows, and bring offline components back into service. It may involve mobilizing emergency generators, repairing transmission lines, and coordinating the synchronization of power plants and substations to gradually restore power to affected areas. The goal of restoration reserves is to systematically recover the grid's functionality and gradually return power to all affected customers, ensuring a safe and stable restoration process. These reserve categories are crucial for maintaining the stability and reliability of the electrical grid. Transmission system operators carefully manage and coordinate the activation of these reserves to ensure that they can quickly respond to disturbances and maintain the balance between supply and demand. This helps prevent blackouts, voltage fluctuations, and other disruptions in the power supply, ultimately ensuring a continuous and reliable source of electricity for consumers.